July 18, 2018 The scoop to say anything can happen at the Open is no exaggeration. Keel Timmons rounds up the most interesting anecdotes from down the years There have been plenty of bizarre moments at the Open down the years. Here are our favorites, point 9. Nick Faldo, 1987 Muirfield Paul Azinger led going into the final round of the 1987 Open at Muirfield, while Nick Faldo was just a shot adrift alongside David Frost. In tough misty conditions, Faldo incredibly pared every single hole to get into the clubhouse at 5-under. In the final groups, Azinger bogeyed each of the final two holes to see his three-shot lead at the turn disappear and eventually lose by a shot to the consistent Englishman.8. Richard Boxall, 1991 Royal Brookdale Richard Boxall, now a Sky Sports golf commentator, was well positioned in the 1991 Open at Royal Brookdale, despite complaining of twinges in his left leg. In the third round, the Englishman came to the ninth tee just three shots off the lead. After he hit his one iron, he collapsed to the floor after hearing a snap. Sure enough, his left leg had broken and he wouldn't play golf again for 10 months. Afterwards, he joked, It's amazing the extremes you'll go to not play with Colin Montgomery. 7. Ian Woosnam, 2001 Royal Lytham. That was until the second tee when Caddy Miles Byrne found out that he had forgot to take out the extra driver that Woosnam was hitting in practice. As a result, the Welshman had 15 clubs in his bag. An eventual two-shot penalty would cost him outright second place. Two weeks later, Wu Snam sacked Byrne for turning up late to the first tee at the Volvo Scandinavian Masters. Wu Snam said, You know what the circumstances are going to be this time, I don't know where he is. I gave him a chance, I don't ask for much. He had one warning, that was it.